Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. I know it's already a couple of weeks ago until I did my last video, but I was fully focusing on field grounds. As you can see here, the field grounds barefoot shoes, the first uh, healthy barefoot shoes, which actually look awesome, like a normal sneaker. Um, yeah, we did our Indiegogo campaign. So a couple of days ago we launched, we finally launched our Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign. So if you haven't uh, checked it out yet, I will put the link in the description and um, yeah, you can check it out, watch the video. We did, a, I think, an, an awesome uh, crowdfunding video, which was a lot of work. So the whole campaign is way more work uh, than it looks like. But we are super happy with the outcome. So exactly within 48 hours, we reached our Indiegogo, Indiegogo goal, which was uh, 90,000 US dollars. And yeah, we were super happy with the outcome, but we still have a couple of days left. So we are fully uh, committed and, and pushing through and have some ideas to, to even raise some, some more money because we will definitely need some more money if we want to, um, yeah, have a new design of the shoe, um, have a new shoe model, expand our team. So I definitely want to have an office here in, in uh, Larnaca, Cyprus. Um, we want to expand our team, have a product manager, have a, a shoe designer within our team, all that stuff. And of course that costs money. So we will definitely need some more money for this, but we're super happy to have the money to found our first mass production. So we already started, um, with that, I will also go to Vietnam in a couple of weeks, uh, check out the production there, and then we are planning to ship the shoes this August um, 2019. I thought I will just update you a little bit what happened the last couple of weeks and what will happen um, in the near future, um, especially around the project uh, field grounds. So as I said, we found it exactly in 48 hours. Um, it was a funny story because um, we launched um, on Monday at 6 p.m. local time here in Cyprus and at 6 p.m. we sent out our newsletter um, and then on Wednesday after 48 hours at 6 p.m. we had 99% of the funding goal. So um, Raphael and I were sitting there and we're like oh really we have 99% um, so we were refreshing the page every second we're doing a screenshot of the Indiegogo page um, and hoping getting the 100% within the 48 hour range. Um, but then it took a, another couple of minutes and it was 6.06 uh, .06 p.m. when we reached the 100% and of course we were super happy um, to, to, to fund um, so fast. But we were also a little bit like uh, choking, like, oh, we, we didn't make the 48 hours and, and all that uh, stuff. So we had a small discussion around that. And then I remembered, um, that there was something going on with the first uh, launch email. So I went back to our um, mail uh, tool and um, I saw that the email wasn't sent out uh, directly. There was some delay after pressing the send button. Um, and then it was exactly uh, 6.06 .06 when the email was sent out and delivered. So it was exactly 48 hours at the end, um, exactly within 48 hours we reached our goal. Um, funny story and as I said, super happy to see everything um, turns out as we, as we plan to do. So this is probably the biggest learning um, from our first crowdfunding campaign, I can tell you right away, is having your own audience. So if you're ever planning to start your own Kickstarter or Indiegogo or a crowdfunding campaign, I will highly recommend you to build your audience before. Um, it's just because of the nature of crowdfunding, the platform uh, conversion rates are not very high. So if you're used to like Amazon, if you're maybe an Amazon seller, you know like the conversion rates on Amazon are easily 10, 20% on a listing. And on Indiegogo, it's maybe like 1% or 2% or even less. So you need lots of traffic to make sales. Um, of course, mainly because of the nature of a crowdfunding campaign, because the people, they have to trust you, they have to wait for the product and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's not the same like on Amazon where you press the buy now button and then within 24 or 48 hours, you have the item at home. Um, of course, um, that's the, probably the biggest impact why the conversion rates are not so high. Um, but also I feel like the whole crowdfunding space uh, got a little bit old school. So I don't know what was happening the last like say four to five years, um, but maybe like the whole crowdfunding market, the whole crowdfunding space and it's on a plateau or maybe 
even moving a little bit downwards. Um, so I haven't seen much uh, like improvements on Kickstarter on Indiegogo platform, especially regarding conversion rate. So I probably think there's lots of room for improvement. Um, also for all the softwares around crowdfunding, all the agencies, it all feels a little bit like, yeah, I don't know how to say it, a little bit old school. So lots of improvement there. If you're ever planning to build something in a crowdfunding space, there's, there's lots of room for, um, for new startups, for new tools and, and stuff like this, for new platforms even. Um, yeah, so the biggest learning, your own audience. Um, also, um, a lot of my friends and family supported our campaign. So big thanks to everybody who does uh, support, who, who backs our campaign. It's super helpful. Um, thank you very, very much. And yeah, what we are doing right now, uh, we send out some of our uh, samples. So we, we did a small sample production in total like 30 pairs or something, um, we, which we used, of course, for our video, for the photos and all that stuff. But we had some uh, samples left. We sent out uh, to influencers, in especially in the barefoot shoes space. Yeah, influencers, which have a reach within our target group, uh, of course. And yeah, we hope it will bring us some more impact for our campaign, um, help us raise uh, some more funds, because as I said, um, if we really want to scale up the field grounds business, we will definitely need some more money. The, the 110 or 115 uh, K we have right now is super for our first production, but I'm already thinking ahead and thinking about yeah, having an office, having a bigger team and all that kind of stuff. So we definitely need some more uh, money there. Yeah, and that's all I have to say for now. So if you have more questions for me regarding crowdfunding, regarding Indiegogo or regarding the Figrounds project, uh, just let me know and then I will see you guys soon. Have a nice day. See you. Bye bye.